Come on, you're going to go left. I knew it. That's just different class, man. And the pass. That's just different gravy, man, in fairness. Okay, we get one here. We get one here. Second last spin. 20 left. I think the hype has kind of gone a bit now, lads, honestly. I think the hype is actually gone a little bit. We do get right here. So, I'm after going so deep, it was just a matter of when rather than if. I turn good players swear, into great players and great teams into champions. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. This time we're taking a look at Mr. Meta himself, Rijkaard. Is he currently the best DMF in the game? Let's find out. All right, boys, I'm not even going to beat around the bush, man. Honestly, Rijkaard is just insane. He is definitely one of the best DMFs in the game. I'm putting him on par with Vieira, my ultimate DMF, my all-round favorite player in the DMF role. Obviously, Romario is probably my favorite player ever in this game, or Collar, but Rijkaard takes about 100,000 XP. It's definitely worth to train him up if you do spin him. That goes without saying, but just to show you there that he does take a little bit of XP, so you'll need to grind that if you don't have a lot of it. But he's just unbelievable, man. I think he's probably up there with Vieira now as the best meta DMF in the game. If you're into that and playing with the best players, he definitely gives you a big boost to actually play with this guy. It's not just his tackling or his defending or his covering a space. It's literally his animations and the fact that he's just got such long legs that he's able to disrupt the play, set up counterattacks, and basically just like completely disrupt your opponent and stop what he's trying to do. It just It's so hard to get the ball around him, and that's where the game is at at the moment. Now, I know a lot of people will ask me about a CB build. We're going to show you this CB build here. You can pause the video if you want to see it. I'll also show you the build in the description, but it's basically 4 into dexterity, 6 into lower body, 6 into aerial strength, 16 into defending, and then, of course, we're going to pop 4 into goalkeeper 1. That will give us a boost to his jumping, which he is a little bit lacking in, okay? He's not as physically strong as I thought he would be, even though his stats say that he is. He's not as strong as Vieira, in my opinion. He's more kind of like a lanky, kind of like weaker uh, version of Vieira. But if you are playing him as a CB, those stats there, coupled with a couple of skills, which I'll show you at the end of the video, you're going to have an absolute monster. Now, the one thing I would say is, right, we'll show you a couple of clips here. I do feel that he is a little bit wasted at CB, and I'll show you why. The reason why is that I think that because he's such a disruptive presence in midfield, I think once the ball gets into that CB position, it's going to be about kind of like creating chances. Now, we're going to show you a little preview of Del Piero as well. We'll have another video on him coming soon. Because I, I do think that Del, or not Del Piero, Baggio, I keep calling him Del Piero, Baggio could be the pick of the pack, but we'll see, does he beat out Rijkaard? But it's all about in these positions with Rijkaard, lads. It's literally not just, not just focusing on winning the ball back or anything, but if you are playing him at CB, I definitely think you need to be patient on the ball, you need to have possession as your forefront taught when you're pushing the ball forward. He's not just like a lumpet. If you are playing uh, that style of football where you just literally get rid of the ball and you're not really slowing the ball down or slowing the play down, you can get away with not using Rijkaard as a CB if you don't have Vieira. If you want to use Vieira and you have Rijkaard, you can either use a double pivot with Rijkaard and Vieira or else you could throw Rijkaard centre-back and you will have a monster centre-back as well. I just feel that if you have other good players at CB, I think Rijkaard definitely comes into his own and shows his true final Thanos level form when he's in that DMF role and this is the build that we've gone with as I said we will focus on uh, Baggio as well in another video and Ambrosini who's been the surprise pick of the pack but this build here as you see again it's going to be more focused on passing and dribbling a little bit not much you can see the build there and also we will show you the stats so these stats here with the DMF version of him 101 overall Pretty much a similar card. Obviously, we've gone in on a similar build. We've got the 85 speed. We've got the boost to the dexterity. And, of course, we've got the defensive awareness as well. That is going to be fairly nice, but not as super high as we had with the CB version of him. So, I do feel like that this card is really the ultimate version of right card. Um, it depends on how you use him. If you've got Vieira and you want Rijkaard in your squad, and you don't want to double pivot, or you want a little bit of variety as your CMF, you want Kante or Makalele beside him, or Pirlo, or Schneider, or whoever you choose to play, um, I do feel that Rijkaard is definitely going to be the main man in your squad anyway. I think he's a definite in your starting eleven. The question is whether he's better than Vieira. I would put him on equal par with Vieira, which is a massive compliment, because I think Vieira is probably the, my favourite player in the game to use to win the ball back for me, him and Makalele. Um, but this is what it's all about. You can see that he can get forward with the ball as well, and we score a cracking goal here to kind of seal this tie against a high-ranked opponent. And that all came from Rijkaard winning the ball back, getting the ball back to pass forward, and he does it very, very easily. It's very effortless to him. 
But again, it's all about disrupting and when winning the ball back and then being able to create chances. So one big thing I will say about Rijkaard, lads, in terms of him versus Baggio or Ambrosini in this pack, um, I do think Rijkaard definitely needs skills. And now these are the skills that we've gone with here. Heading aerial superiority, sliding tackle, true passing and acrobatic clearance. These will bring this card into a different level into a different atmosphere altogether, I think, especially with heading and acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority. Sliding tackle and true passing are a luxury skill, if you can add those, but he is a little bit weak in the air compared to Vieira. I found that, I don't know why with Vieira, he just wins everything in the air, he's just a lot stronger, but definitely he is an absolute monster of a player. So yeah, I definitely feel that Rijkaard is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate now. Um, him, Pirlo and Vieira, depending on your playstyle, are all exceptionally good players. Obviously everyone has favorite players, but yeah, he's a phenomenal player, man. If you're if you're able to spin from, you're lucky enough to spin from. This is the review that will hopefully help you out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video and let me know if you spun or not for Rijkaard and who your favorite player is from this pack. Until next time.